Hi, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll take a look at what is inside this brand new Lenovo Yoga. Model is 16IRL8. I know it's hard for you to see, but that is the model number on this Yoga 7. So probably I'm going to take it apart. Um, hopefully a full disassemble. This is my first time doing this. I'm not sure if I'm able to do much of the uh, introduction of the upgrade and whatnot. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. As I take it apart, I will explain what are the things that you can upgrade, things that you can change, and so on and so forth. All right. So uh, first of all, I'll be using a Torque T5. Let's go ahead and remove the screws here. They're using a Torque screws. Three screws on the top. Four screws at the bottom. It looks like the screws bottom are a lot shorter compared to the one on the top. Alright, once I have removed all the four screws, let's see if we can actually open it up. <clears throat> I'm gonna get a metal prying too, I'm gonna stick in between that. Using a plastic prying tool now to kind of not to scratch the metal or the plastic. Running across of it and it will just pop right out. So just a recap here, once you remove seven screw for the bottom three on the top, once you remove it, pretty much it's a clip on along the side to cover up the back cover. So I just run across along the side here and just pop the back case open. Very straightforward, you can see that the internal part of it is just a big battery here. Uh, to disconnect the battery, I would just say simply slide the connector to your left okay to remove it it doesn't take much of uh, uh, stuff here to remove the battery a regular Phillips screwdriver let's use a smaller size the screw seems to be a lot more tinier so let's use a tiny little screwdriver here a Phillips 1.5 okay three screws to get rid of the battery and then just slide out. The model of the battery is L22M4PA1. That is the battery for Lenovo. Let's take a look here. It's very straightforward. Um, it doesn't seem like there's much going on here. The motherboard seems to be just one piece and a CPU fan right straight at it. Let me peel this little tape back and expose to see what is underneath. I'm going to re-tape this thing again, so save it on the side. Alright, um, a quick glance at it. The keyboard is not replaceable. You can see that the keyboard is, by manufacturer, they use the punch down. So if you have a broken keyboard, this Lenovo is a no-go. You would have to replace the whole palm rest, the full assembly of the keyboard. Is the RAM upgradable? The answer is no. This is where the RAM is. It is covered by this little aluminum piece of metal. This thing should be able to pop right out. Okay, and you have, what is that, 16 gigabytes of RAM? Maybe eight here and eight on the other side. So the RAM is not upgradable.
they are trying to do the same like Apple they make it in a way that is not upgradable anyway uh, one of the things that you can change out would be your M.2 SSD drive that is your hard drive here uh, it's not a full size a full size hard drive would be something a lot bigger longer <clears throat> this one here is a lot shorter and again I want to point this out to you if you're interested to buy one of these um, M.2 SSD adapter which allow you to recover the data by sticking in like this have this little rubber push all the way in because it's a shorter M.2 covered it up it's sticking into a different computer like a USB stick and this should be able to recover all your information all right if you're interested with the uh, USB adapter check the link down in the description below I would link it to either Amazon or eBay where you can find the replacement um, parts for this very straightforward a CPU fan is a big C CPU fan here speakers on the top left the board on the on the side um, I don't think it's difficult to remove it's very straightforward and definitely yep definitely is a no no replacement for this um, this computer is is very limited you can only change your hard drive other than that the RAM is not upgradable the CPU the heatsink is all part of the uh, the motherboard here all right I'm gonna put them all back together I call it a day uh, there's not much of a tear down uh, just a quick sneak peek for you just slide the connector back to the right slide it all the way in if you want to use a plastic prying tool to push it in you can just like such to cover this I like to slide the top here first it looks like those little plastic rivets is for you to slide it in <clears throat> make sure you push it all the way in okay and then just crunch it down And have all the screws to go back in. So the laptop is nothing really special. A simple, straightforward motherboard. You know, CPU is already soldered onto it with the RAM, which is, I guess, the new way of uh, they're making products now. And the only thing was upgradable is the hard drive. So again, the keyboard is not replaceable, meaning that you would have to change the entire full palm rest. I'm not sure why the way they make it that way. I guess it's just that um, if you spill stuff on the keyboard, you would have to end up buying a new new laptop. All right, hopefully this is something that um, show you an idea what is in the laptop. I need to clean this thing off later. Uh, but other than that, if you do find the video is helpful, please go ahead and smash the like button for me. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.